friends, it is Kate here. Thank you so much for jumping on my channel and joining me for a class today. I've got a 20 minute beginner Pilates class just for you. This one is all about our oblique muscles and working ourselves up to a small mini forearm plank. That can be a big one, but don't you worry, we'll be toning those muscles, paying attention to all of our alignment. Go ahead, give me a like, subscribe, let me know what you think in the comments below. Roll out your mat and let's get started. We'll go ahead and start in a comfortable seated position on our mat, whatever that means for you. Legs crossed, legs straight out, maybe on a prop or just on your sitting bones like I am, totally fine. But take a moment, feel those sitting bones pressing down into the mat, begin to pull your belly button in. Remember that feeling of a little belt around the small of our belly, just lightly tugging in. Let's take a big inhale, lifting our hands up nice and high. Exhale, flip the palms, press them down. Again, inhale, lift the hands up nice and high. Exhale, press them all the way down. Last one, inhale, take the hands high and stay. A moment right here, make sure those fingertips are lightly in front of you and not exactly straight over the head, simply so we can keep our ribs closed, our belly button in, and our waist cinching. Take a breath. Drop your right hand down. Let it form a little kickstand for you. Press down into your fingertips. If your palm can touch the floor, that's great too. My arms are just too short. But reach your hands up, and then let's take a little side stretch over. And you can crawl those fingertips away if you want to. But just like we would in a regular forward fold or any sort of stretching, we wanna keep that feeling of rounding through our right side body. We're not collapsing over. It's more like there's a giant ball next to us, and we're just draping ourselves on over it. Press down into that left sitting bone, grow longer through your left fingertips. Did your shoulder climb up, up to your ear? Let it fall down your back. Take a breath. As you exhale, use your left oblique to pull yourself all the way up. Reach that right hand up high. Slowly set the uh, left hand down and same thing to the opposite side. I grow up tall and straight and then I crawl as I take a great big side stretch. You may notice one side feels a little different than the other, that's okay. We didn't do it on the first side, but if it feels nice to kind of take your gaze one direction and then the other, you go right ahead. Big deep inhale. Exhale now, it's your right oblique that pulls you all the way up. Now, we're gonna do a little bit of a mermaid stretch, which is very similar to that, but we'll change our legs. If this doesn't end up feeling good for your knees, your hips, then feel free to stay in whatever seated position is working well for you. But for our true mermaid, we'll take our legs out to the side. Now, you can either have your legs just like mine is, kind of one in front parallel towards the front of your mat, the other one off to the side, or some people like to curl them in underneath you. I find that my left sitting bone kind of rises up when I'm here, um, so bringing my right leg straight straight out in front so it's in line with the edge of my mat. Works best for my body, but do what works best for you. Now I want you to crawl your fingertips further away from you and let's all tent our fingertips here. It's like you're a little Spider-Man right here. Now notice, I've got a big diagonal line from my right wrist to my right shoulder to my left shoulder. Your left hand can be on your hip or we could take it off to the side to continue that great big long line. This might be enough for you. Stay right here if it is. But if we wanna go a little deeper, I want you to lift up and over again and curl. Now when I'm reaching my left fingertips over to the right, I'm thinking about really pressing my left sitting bone down to the ground, finding all that big stretch, that all, all that big space all along the left side of my body. Flip your palm so it's facing towards me. Take a big inhale. As you exhale, I want you to cactus your arm and find a little stretch. Inhale, straighten and reach. Exhale, tone the belly and pull your elbow down. Inhale, straighten and reach. Last one, bend and stay. This might be a lovely stretch for us already. Feel free to stay right here. You could also roll your shoulder back and look up to the sky. Do you see that not only did my head go straight up to the sky, but I moved my upper body. I moved my chest so it's pointing up to the sky as well and I experience a larger stretch through the front of my body. 
Don't feel like you have to go any further than this though. Do what works best for you. Slowly straighten, extend that arm out. Now think about that left oblique again, that left side belly. I want you to take a big deep inhale. Squeeze that spot so much that you pull yourself all the way up to a seat. Now we're gonna inhale, tip back over to that long diagonal line, touching the fingertips down to the ground. You see they're right there. And then again, exhale, squeeze your oblique, pull yourself upright. Inhale, up and over. Exhale, tone return. Inhale, up and over. Exhale, tone return. Last one, up and over and stay once more. Press that sitting bone down, grow long through your fingertips. Flip the palm so it's facing towards me once more. Bend your elbow, cactus that arm. And again, if you want to take a little stretch, opening up that chest, you go right ahead. Extend nice and long. Slowly pull yourself up, remembering to cinch the waist to use those obliques. Fabulous job. Let's flip on over to our second side. Now hips, knees, everything can be so sensitive, so different from one direction to the other. So what worked well for one side for your body might not be the perfect place to come to this side. Take a moment to adjust and find that place. Now, once more, sit up tall, sit up straight, belly button in, cinch the waist, broaden your chest, lift your head high, take those fingertips out and away. Reach your left hand down. Again, we're tenting the fingertips and think once more about that diagonal line from our wrist to our shoulder, opposite shoulder, and then hand either on the hip if that works best for our body or up to the sky to keep that feeling of that lovely diagonal line. Now we can hold here. This might be enough of a stretch for us. Stay right here if you want to. Or take your hand up and over. This time I'm thinking about my right hip pressing down to the ground. My right hand reaching out and away. Sliding that shoulder down the back. I know it's so easy to lift up to your ear, but we want to keep space between our shoulders and ears. Stay here if this feels good. Or again, flip the palm. Take a breath. Bend the elbow. Hold right here if you'd like to. Don't feel like you have to go any further whatsoever. But if we're in the mood, inhale, straighten. Exhale, tone the tummy bend. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, cinch the waist, bend the arm. Once or twice more on your own breath. Just feeling even from one side to the other. And then this last time, let's bend and cactus that arm and either stay here or roll the shoulder back. Take your gaze, your chest, your sternum up to the sky. This again might be enough. Bring yourself back to center. Take that fingertip so long, so straight. We're gonna use our obliques to pull ourselves upright. So big inhale, exhale, cinch the waist, return. <sighs> Inhale, up and over. Exhale, cinch the waist, return. Inhale, up and over. Exhale, pull it back. Every time I go up and over, I'm finding that length through my side body. Every time I come up, I'm toning everything through the center. Last one, over and stay. Press that hip down once more. Bend the elbow if you want to. Maybe again, cactus if that feels nice in your body. Do what works best for you. Full breath here. Slowly return. Take a big deep inhale. Pull yourself upright. Go ahead and release. We're gonna wiggle on over to the other side once more and come back to that exact same position. So one hand is reaching out and we wanna find that lovely diagonal line. Now, unlike our last little set where we were curling, we're kind of rolling over, finding that big stretch, this time here it is about finding that diagonal line in our body and staying. So I think of two diagonal lines, one from my hand to my wrist, shoulder to either my hand up or uh, stopping on my shoulder if my hand's going to stay on my hip. And then the second diagonal line I'm thinking about is my spine. It's almost like you're trying to make an X right there. Do we see that? So from hip to sternum, to nose, out the top of my head is another diagonal line. We don't wanna let those things get wonky as we move around in this next little set. So find that spot that works best for you, either hand up or hand on your hip. Take a big deep inhale, 
exhale, cinch the waist as much as you can. Tone that belly, draw the ribs in. We're going to move our left leg. This is a tricky one, and if all you do is activate your muscles instead of actually lifting it up, that's going to be a lot of work. So don't you worry, don't you fret if your leg doesn't go anywhere. But if you can, you're going to take a big deep inhale. Exhale, lift up your left leg. Now ideally, we're trying to lift our knee and our ankle at the same spot. So not just the knee, the toe has to come up and away too. Drop it down. Exhale, tone the tummy, lift the knee. Inhale, drop it down. Exhale, cinch the waist, lift. <sighs> Inhale, lower. Three more, lift. Inhale, lower. Two more, you got it. Drop it down. Last one, lift, stay. Have you forgotten about those diagonal lines in our body? Maybe take your fingertips out and away if you haven't already. If this is enough, stay right here. Otherwise, three times, could you pulse your entire leg, your entire shin's gonna lift. We're gonna lift it up for three, two, one, hold. Tone that belly, cinch the waist. Lift it up again. Three, two, one. One more time. Three, two, one. Big inhale. Set it down, relax. Give yourself a little love if you need to. That's a big one. Let's flip to our second side. So let's set ourselves up for success. I'm gonna think about that diagonal line from my hand on the floor to my hand either up to the sky or on my hip. And then I'm gonna think about my second diagonal line from my pelvis through my spine out that top of the head. Take a big inhale. Exhale, cinch the waist. Another big deep inhale. Exhale, lift the whole leg. Inhale, drop it down. Exhale, the whole leg lifts. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Two more on your own breath. Last one, lift and stay. This might be enough. Hold right here. Notice what feels different. Do you have more range of motion? Do you have less? Is this one just killing you? That's okay if it is, nothing wrong with that. We're just noticing these things. And now let's do those little pulses again. Take a big inhale and pulse it up. Three, two, one, hold. Big deep inhale. Exhale, pulse it up. Three, two, one, hold. You got it. Three, two, one. Last time. Three, two, one. Big deep breath. Drop it down. Give yourself some love. Wonderful job. Flip on over to your first side. Now something a little different. This time, I actually want us to bend our knees. The front of my knees are kind of up against that front edge of my mat. My heels, my hips, and my shoulders are right in the middle of my mat so I can bring myself down on my forearm. Now I want you, I often see this and I do this myself, I kind of curl over to my pinky edge of my fingers. I want you to think about pressing down through the whole of your hand that hand is glued down to the mat you can't let your thumb lift up or your pinky if you've got some kind of extra rotation going on there and then let's think about our diagonal lines again one from my elbow to my shoulder opposite shoulder and then hand either up to the sky once more or to our hip now again we've got another little diagonal line in our body from my pelvis to my sternum out the top of my head so no slouching here my friends we're not watching TV we are doing our Pilates right now. Think of toning that belly again, cinching the waist, press down into your legs, almost like you're squeezing them together like you've got the tightest pencil skirt on. Think about that spot where your thigh and your glute connect and give it a little squeeze too. Take a big inhale. All I want you to do from here is exhale, open your knee up to the side. <sighs> inhale, draw it back. Now, as we open and close, I want you to imagine there is a massive rubber band around your legs. It should be hard. It should be challenging to open that leg up to the sky, up to the side. Open it up and then close it in. Open it up and then close it in. Last one, open and stay. Now from here, all I want us to do is straighten our leg out to the side and then pull our toes back together. Inhale, straighten, reach it out to the side. Exhale, pull the toes back together. Two more, inhale, straighten. Exhale, pull it in. 
Last one, straighten, pull it in. Now from here, bring those legs back towards one another. Press down into your forearm. Tone the side of your belly a little bit more. Squeeze those little low belly muscles that do so much work for us. And then from here, can we press down into our legs so much that we lift our hips up? We're just coming to the teeniest, tiniest forearm side plank. Drop your hips down. Press down to lift up. <sighs> Inhale, lower down. You're barely lifting up and off of the ground. That's okay. Let's do two more. Exhale, lift up. <sighs> Inhale, lower down. Exhale, lift up. <sighs> Inhale, lower down. Last one, lift up, stay. Now again, can we open and close? Now if it's too much to stay on our forearm like this, just lower those hips and do our little open and close on the ground. That's okay, last one, open and close. Big inhale, cinch the belly, lift the hips up higher. Everybody lift up your hips, even if you set them down, give yourself a breath. Drop it down, good job. You look beautiful, I know it. Let's flip to our other side. Remember, the front of our knees are in line with the front of our mat. My heels, my hips, my shoulders are in the middle of my mat. Did we forget about letting our hand stay suction cup to the ground? We want to keep it there for this entire time, if, even if we forgot about it on our first side. Think about your lines. Think about that spine growing taller, growing longer. Cinch the waist, lift up through your side belly, open your shoulders side to side. I'm thinking about kissing my shoulder blades together behind my back. And then as you feel ready, we're just gonna rotate and release. Rotate and release. Now my toes are staying kind of touching together the whole time, and it's just my inner thigh that's kind of helping to open my leg out and to close it back in. Now there's still that feeling of that rubber band all around my thighs. It is hard, it is challenging to part my legs. Last one, open and stay. Now from here, before we go anywhere, have we lost any of our beautiful long lines in our body? We want to be open and long. Maybe take that hand out and then straighten the leg. Exhale, pull it in. <sighs> Inhale, straighten the leg. Exhale, pull it in. <sighs> Tone that spot where your thigh and your glute connect. Every time you extend that leg out, pull it back in. Last one. Bring it in, stay. Close the legs. Hand to our hip or up to the sky, whatever works best for you. Big inhale. Exhale, press through your whole forearm to lift your hips and lower. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Three more, drop it down. Two, you got it. Last one, lift and stay. Just like we did on our first side, let's open and close. Open and close. It should still be challenging to move that leg Obviously, it's challenging to move our leg when our hips are lifted, but I still want you to think about that feeling of the rubber band around your leg. Two more, open and close. Last one, open and close, big inhale. Drop it down, set yourself all the way on the mat. Let's flip to our first side one more time. Now, this time, knees once more, in line with the front of our mat, forearm on the ground, find your beautiful starting position, and now let's immediately lift our hips up from here. Take a great big inhale. Exhale, rotate your leg open. Tone the belly, cinch the waist. Hand can stay on our hip if that helps to give you a little more information, or we could take it off and away. Could we straighten, pull it back in, straighten, pull it back in. If it is too much to do that with our hips lifted, that's okay. Set the hips down and you can repeat this um, with your hips on the ground. That's okay. Two more. Reach and bend. Last one. Reach and stay. Grow longer and taller. Maybe lift those hips up higher. Cinch the waist just a little bit more. Big, deep, full inhale. Pull your toes back together. Close the legs. Lower down. Second side. Here we go. Set yourself up for success. What do you need to think about on this side? Find that big, beautiful line all through your body. Maybe bring your hand to your hip if you want a little bit more information on this side. Press down to lift up. Open. Tone that tummy. Cinch the waist. Find space shoulder to shoulder. Kiss your shoulder blades in together. Straighten and bend. Straighten 
and bend. You got it, straighten and bend. Three, two, last one. Pull it in, take a breath. Bring those legs together, lower down. Go ahead, find a nice easy seat. Just as we started class, take a moment, notice any differences in your body. Do we feel our oblique muscles, those side belly muscles turned on a little bit more? I certainly hope they do. Go ahead, take a big inhale, reach your hands up high. Just as we start a class, drop the right hand down, find that little kickstand, lift up higher, crawl away, find your great big stretch, big inhale. Use your oblique muscles to pull yourself up. Drop the other hand down, lift it up high. Great big inhale, exhale as you stretch. Take a breath. Pull yourself all the way up right, flip the palms, press them down. Give yourself a great big pat on the back. Say thank you to yourself for doing something just for you. I hope you enjoyed our class today and I certainly hope to see you soon.